All right, guys, this is Billy Guy and Mark Gonzalez in the booth with Rackham TV. How you doing, Mark? I'm doing well, Billy. How are you? Yeah, so, uh, man, what a first match we got here, man. We've got uh, Tony Chohan taking on Fetter Gorst here in this uh, one pocket. This is still the winner side, right? But yeah, this is their first match. So this is going to be an awesome, awesome event here, guys. Yes, this is a huge match right here, man. Uh, stay on the winner's side. Tony, Tony and Fetter, man. Yeah, this is going to be gonna fun. It's going to be a great man. match, man. Uh, Tony's been doing some big things out there with Game Tight. Game got Tight. Some, got I got hoodies some of that and stuff, all that stuff. That's awesome. All right, so here we go. Tony won the lag. Um, so Tony will have the first break here in this race to four. Um, both these guys are world-class one-pocket players. Great break there. Yeah, so we came out on uh, Facebook Live right now. You know, this is just a little preview of what's going on today. It's uh, If y'all are coming in, why don't y'all go ahead and like and share it out there. We're not going to be on long. But I uh, just wanted to give you a taste of what's going on out here for the Michael Montgomery Memorial. Uh Thanks for coming on and supporting. Absolutely. Guys, it was a late night for us last night. I'm sure you guys were on with us quite a while, too, watching the Billy Thorpe and Shane. And Billy was able to come back and, and yeah. get him. Yeah, he was, he was <laughs> man. Yeah, y'all can, uh, can go always, always. If, uh, if you ain't live and whatever, go out there to Molina Mike. He always does some sort of, uh, you know, Keeping Ride everybody, yeah. yeah. Let's everybody knows what's going on. He is out there. When we were on our way home, man, we had to get out. We had to be here early. Look at that shot, Billy. Holy shot. cow. And then look at this. Wow. What's going on, Ivan? How you doing? What's up, Mr. Ivan? It might take us a minute to get warmed up. We're still on the coffee, if you don't, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, so were these guys too. They were out late. When they show up, they're ready to roll, ain't they? Yeah, they are. These guys stay ready, Billy. <laughs> hey, thank you so much, Edward. We appreciate you sharing, buddy. Uh, like I said, we're gonna stay on here for 15, 20 minutes with you guys on Facebook. Uh, head over to Rackham.tv. 
to go ahead and get your pay-per-view pass for the rest of this event. Of course, this is the Michael Montgomery Memorial. We've got uh, five days total starting yesterday, so we got four more non full days of nonstop action. Today we're going to start the 10-ball event as well. Uh, all these champions you guys saw yesterday and today, all of them are also in the 10-ball event. Yeah. Um, and then um, one pocket's going to go today as well. One pocket and 10-ball will conclude tomorrow. And then first thing Saturday morning, we're going to uh, get kicked off with the 128-man nine ball open. So, guys, head over to Rackham.tv. Get your passes if you haven't already. We're going to have a blast out here. We hope all you guys join us. What's up, Molina Mike? Molina Mike up early. What's up, buddy? Man, is he <laughs> asleep? Does we, he sleep? No, he doesn't <laughs> sleep. Man. We're going to send you some coffee, Mike. Don't worry, buddy. <laughs> Heck, yeah. Yeah, so uh, you can get the event, like you said, at, at Rackham.tv, but... Uh, it's thirty nine ninety five for the pass. That's ten dollars a day, guys. It's going. Part of this is going to a good cause, also. Absolutely, guys. We're going to be uh, donating some of the proceeds here from everything, from from everything collected, Billy. We're going to mm -hmm. be donating to uh, Aiden, which is Michael's son, uh, mm -hmm. setting that up in a trust for him. And man, we're hoping that we can do this. You know, do this all yearly. the time. And, and yeah, it's going to be. A, you know, from what was out, it's going to be a yearly tournament every year. More is going to go into the fund, so how about that? Michael Montgomery was a stand-up guy. He traveled the world, <laughs> traveled the world, you know, as a job, but he, he made it a point to go all, to all the pool halls all the way around the world, so pretty cool. Hey, Kelly, what's going on? Yes, we will have uh, over on the stream, uh, when you go to the pay-per-view site, uh, you guys can select between the cameras and the uh, – so the – Women's event will be starting again today. Uh, they'll have it on the um, the seven foot diamond over there. So that's going to be if when you guys are on the home page, you can just select the women's event and it'll take you over to that table. Uh, yeah, that thanks, Mike. That is the ball count up right now. So it, the the score will be kept uh, over here, guys. We'll show you. Tony's Tony's kind of sitting right in front of it right now. Um, but the score will be over there to the right side of the TVs. That'll be the game count. And then we're using the ticker on top of the stream here, the top of the feed, to be uh, the ball count. So It is 0-0. Zero, zero. This is the first game. This is the first game. What's going on, Mark? We can't wait to see you, buddy. We know you're coming up. Yeah, Thomas, these Predator balls are amazing. Um, if you got you a set, man, you're... Yeah, Arcos, too, man. Yeah, they're phenomenal. <clears throat> Yeah, Ivan Michael was a great guy and uh, gone too soon. Absolutely. All right. So Fetter jumped out to a quick little three, three to nothing lead here, but I mean, he's taken on, in, in my opinion, one of the probably one of the. Look, guys, I'm new to the game. If y'all were listening yesterday, y'all know that I'm new to the game of, of one pocket, but. Man, you watch some of the highlight reels and, and just seeing we've seen Tony down at the Texas Open play. We've seen several other events and watched him online. And man, I mean, to me, I mean, somebody who's novice at this, I, I'm going to put him up there as one of the best for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. If you can get out there and get the highlight reel. Oh, yeah. Just <laughs> go to YouTube. Freaking look up. Freaking awesome. Tony Chohan one pocket highlights. It's about five minutes of just oh. the most incredible shots you could see. What's up, Matt? Matt Nitz tuning in. What's up, buddy? What's up, Stephen Wyatt? Stephen said he'll be here around 7.30. We'll see you then. Good morning, Rhonda. Rhonda, Matt, Stephen, Thomas. Got Tim checking in from Ohio. What's up, Tim? <laughs> Thomas, we're still trying to figure out the rules ourselves. We're we are uh, we're not one pocket players, man. We we fight through rotation pool. Last time I gambled at at one pocket, I shot a ball into the side, and he said, "What the hell are you doing?" I said, "What do you mean? I only made it in one pocket." What? <laughs> I got that whole side right. No. What's up, Juan? Juan Para, strong Mark. as beaver teeth right there. What's up, buddy? Mark's trying to get a little action already. <laughs> I can uh, I know this one. Yeah, Ivan said that, that Tony's one of the top three in the world when he's playing. Got Carlos from Arizona. That's What's up, Carlos? Sure. Good morning, Scotty. Checking in from Kentucky. We got the Kentucky waterfalls in the house this morning. Uh, oh, boy, they're 
they're on a table next door right now. Yes, they are. <laughs> All right, Billy, I got to step out real quick. I'll be right back. Yeah, Mark's going to step out. He's going to go check the keyboard or uh, scorecard on the other side. So when you are uh, bouncing through, you'll be able to keep up with the score on those tables. So it's going to be a long long day and night tonight you know we got the pot the one pocket we've got uh the ladies the ladies open going on over there had some great matches uh yesterday
All right, guys, Mark Gonzalez and Billy Guy with Rackham TV back. Tony just made a really good defensive shot there, and he's got commanding control of this rack here. It's a 7-3. So let's see what Fetter does here. So you guys, uh, we're about to tune off of Facebook. So if you can go to www.rackham.tv, get your pass if you haven't already got it. Yeah, guys, we got four more days of nonstop action. We got the one pocket. We got the 10 ball. We got the ladies event still going on, which, by the way, big shout out to Alicia Stanley for knocking yeah. off the number one player in this event, Christina yeah. Tock. So, uh, man, that was a phenomenal match. She won Hill Hill. So mm -hmm. great job, Alicia. Um, we're going to continue bringing you this. We are about to get off of uh, Facebook here, guys. So head over to Rackham.tv. Get that pay-per-view pass. Support this amazing event. And... Uh, We'll see you guys soon. And that for the game. He takes it he down. He does All take right, it down. So Tony, Tony gets on the board first in this race to four. <laughs> All right, Hammock. Well, I hope you enjoyed your free preview, buddy. And uh, hopefully you can get updates throughout the weekend. All right, so we're down to the pay-per-view uh, customers now. How are you guys doing out there? Who's all in the, who's know, all in the house? Texas One Pocket said, yeah, get those freeloaders cut off. <laughs> <laughs> They're off. <laughs> they all. You know, guys, it's funny. I mean, we know just from the, the few events we've done here um, like this, and we recognize names, and we see you guys, and we know we know the ones who support constantly, and we just want to tell you guys we, we really appreciate y'all, and it's really funny the. Billy, we talk about this all the time. It's it's the ones who, you know, like the guy there on Facebook made the comment, never I'll never buy it. Well, they're the <laughs> ones who complain about everything, <laughs> and they never yeah. they never buy anything. So yeah, They never buy it them. They complain, complain about everything. Hey, we need them, too. That makes you guys look great. <laughs> <laughs> if everybody was awesome, it'd just be normal, Billy, and normal's boring. It is that. Man, look what Tony did here. I didn't even see how he did it. It looks like he picked the cue ball up and put it there. Like, how could, <laughs> yeah. how could you do that? Guys, if y'all were listening yesterday, we want to apologize. Uh, me and Billy are not. We do not play one pocket. We don't know the game very much. But we're in here. We're going to have some fun. We're going to watch and learn a little bit from these guys. And, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy watching these guys shoot because you're not going to enjoy us talking about watching them shoot, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, and it's so early right now that only the people that are playing are here right now. So uh, don't worry, guys. Later today, we'll have some awesome people here in the booth with you guys. Yeah, throughout the day, we're going to get some uh, some of these one pocket players in here with us so that uh, you can get some shot by shot commentary. What's going on, Russell? Phil Palmer, man. What's going on, buddy? What up, Phil? We need to get you over here and get you yeah, in the box. Why aren't you in the box over here, man? Get up here. It's been a while. I hadn't seen you, man. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Yes, sir. You might bring me back out of retirement. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. Did you put me in retirement? I or think did, he did. Or did uh, I put you? I, I don't know, but we stopped at the same time. <laughs> Y'all both said I've had enough. I'm done. <laughs> we had some great matches too. You're gonna have to get Philip out of retirement before you can get he can pull you out of retirement. Man, he took on Bolton. I, I heard he's not that good though. I'd try him some. Maybe like <laughs> 40, 50 pin spot or something. 
<laughs> Your bowling's with a quarter going to the spot, though. Yeah, yeah, I like that. <laughs> I like Canadian rules. I like, uh, I think if they just play 10 pin. No, they don't play 10 pin. They play, uh, <laughs> what do they play there? Yeah, they do play 10 pin. They play 10 pin in Canada, and the mm. ball's a whole lot smaller. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's it, like you can you can just hold it's it. It's like a bocce ball. <laughs> I don't know what a bocce ball is, but all right. <laughs> yes, we're going to go with that. Uh, What's up, Reigns? Uh, you you scared Billy a little bit yesterday, just so you know. He came back, had to had to go in the bathroom, dry his pants off. <laughs> <laughs> that car is nice. Jam and Jay, what's up, buddy? Stronger than beaver teeth. Yeah, Ooh, you better not sure. let here Juan Juan Parra hear you say that. I think he's trademarked that phrase. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Brandon. We appreciate you, man. All right. So uh, what Fetter wants to do here is he either wants to push a ball towards his hole, Billy, or he wants to knock a ball out of Tony's hole. Pretty much every time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Tony's up one one game. Uh, sorry, guys. Look, on the on the main view over here where Tony's sitting, we have the score counter on the right side behind him. That's going to be your game count, and up top is going to be your ball count. You know, Billy, I was in here yesterday with Forrest, who's a great, great player. Um, he's an amazing player uh, at one pocket. And, man, I learned so much just from being in here commentating uh, the match with him. And, uh, man, it just seems like there's 15 shots that just the, it's happen the same all shot the time. all the time. So, man, I think if we could just learn those 15 shots, we'd be pretty good. I get it. <laughs> All we have to do is get it close, right? Uh, the game score, yeah, the game score is being shown over here with Tony. Uh, right now, it's one to zero. Uh, up top is the ball count, but we'll we'll constantly remind you guys of the score. Rain said he'll take fifty pins too. What's up? Uh oh, Philip, you got two <laughs> matches lined up already. Philip said, heck, at 2,000? Okay, 2,000 pins in a row. <laughs> just woke up. He's in the grease. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we did. We went for a ride the other night, man, and uh, we tore up some of that service road over there. They're doing construction. They <laughs> they're going to have to, gonna have to uh, clean some rubber off <laughs> for about a quarter mile down the road. <laughs> uh, wow, that was, a, that was, that nice. was an awesome shot. Deflecting hey, off the other ball. Yeah, I think Tony can still get to the five ball, get it out of there, and maybe even put him back in the stack there. Phillips said no no bowling, golf or one hole. You're right. I'm not gonna yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna play you in either. <laughs> I, I got a game for us in golf, Philip, but I don't know if you're gonna like it. Hmm, what's that? Do what? What's that? I get to choose which club he shoots with. Every shot I get to pick the club. That's pretty good right yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. I get to I get to pick the club and we play best ball. Huh. <laughs> so if he hits it better than me, even with the club I select for him, I still get to go and start my next shot from where he is. Where he gets <laughs> <laughs> that ain't bad. I like them odds. I'd try you something like that, Philip. I'll tell you guys a funny story. Um so I used to manage when I first I used to clean carpets for a living when I was a teenager and into my twenties and I, <clears throat> I got promoted to manager, and they told me, man, we play golf a lot. Do you play golf? I said no. And so the the VP of the carpet cleaning company shows up to work the next day and hands me a set of clubs out of his truck, and he says, here, I need you to go learn how to play golf. We're going to be – we play a lot of golf with the, you know, apartment yeah. managers, associates. Dog and pony show. All kinds of stuff, learn. right? So I said, all right. So first weekend, uh, Saturday morning, I woke up, and I went to TWU – I was going to get somebody to watch a hit here. 
Yeah, he just asked Federer to. Good shot. So Saturday morning comes, and I, I head up to uh, TWU. They had a golf course there at Texas Women's University in yeah. Denton, and I, uh, I get up there, and I'm on the first tee box. It's first tee time of the morning. And I, I thought I was playing by myself, but when I got up to the tee box, there's you know two or three older gentlemen there that are they paired me up with. <laughs> They're waiting for you. Well, they all go up there and they drive their ball right down the middle, you know, perfect. And I get up there. I've never hit a golf ball in my life, Billy. First time I've ever done it, I'm on a tee box on a golf course playing. Heck yeah. Well, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning and there's a lot of dew on the ground. It's a of course. crisp morning. I tee the ball up. I pull the biggest club out, which I guess is the one you're supposed to hit the long ball with. And <laughs> I, man, I rear up and I swing this club as hard as I can. <laughs> Next thing I know, Billy, my feet come right out from under me, and I land flat on my back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I, these guys start laughing their asses off at me. I stand back up. I'm, I said, I wait. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, I, I address the ball again. I swing again, and I hit it, and I, I hit it for, with the toe, and I hit it <laughs> so hard that it shoots perfectly perpendicular to the right and hits the clubhouse. The golf ball hits the clubhouse. I look at them. I put the club back in my bag. I take it off the cart and walk out to my car and drive off. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all I got to say about that. That's it. So, guys, I'll get you guys an up. Let's take a let's get an update over here real quick on the uh, Corey Duel and uh, Sky Woodward. Let's see what? All right, so Corey Duel leads that one one to zero. Again, guys, if you don't know, uh, hopefully you do. Ooh. He just missed that bank, but is the 10 ball? I don't know if the 10 goes by, but I don't know if he would. I don't know. We'll see what he's going to do. Um, so, yeah, Corey Duell leads Sky Woodward one to nothing over on the other table. But you guys can control that. If you want to watch the Sky and Corey match, uh, you can head over to the action table from the home page. And we have uh, Margaret Fox taking on Crystal Suarez in the ladies event right now. If you guys click on women's event, you'll be able to see that match as well. Now, there is no uh, no commentary on those matches. Of course, we're here on this one, but hell, with me and Billy in the booth, you might like it that way better anyway.
Yeah, Robin, if you're if you're having issues, shoot a message over. Um, yeah, there's plenty of help. Um, Robin, just head over to Rackham TV Facebook page and shoot a message, and our tech guys will be able to help you out. Um, if anybody else is having any problems, uh, please, you know, putting a message up here. Uh, we, you you got to send a Facebook message to uh, Rackham TV, and our IT guy will be able to help you out and, and get you in. Is anybody else having a problem with anything? And uh, I'm gonna put the bracket up here for you. That way, you guys, and I'll pin I'll pin it, or I don't know if I can pin it on this, but we'll get it taken care of for you. Appreciate it, Snacks. Thank you, Rob. Appreciate you guys. I was just in the middle of getting that done. I'm going to go ahead and copy this link. That way, if later on we get asked, we can pop it right back up there. Wow. So man, we've had a uh, bounces back here and here. Yeah, pretty good little standoff here in this game. We got to go back on uh, Shane's game, not the last game he played, but the first match. They said that he made a five ball combination where he just slammed it and the ball just trickled into the hole. Yeah. It was a it was a do or die shot, and it, everybody was said it was it was for it. the real, yeah. you know. Yeah, guys. Just so y'all know, um, I mean, when you do purchase the pay per view, you can only watch it on one device, and I mean, we, unfortunately, yeah. we have to have it that way. Otherwise, <laughs> everybody just share their login and password. So if you if you have it pulled up on your phone and you switch to your laptop or you switch to any other device. <laughs> You've just got to log yourself out of the other device first. Um, so that's all you have to do. All right. So, man, these guys have been going back and forth here. Nobody's yeah. made the ball yet. Wow. He got he got all them balls on his side of the table with that shot. It was pretty good. Open things up a bit. Yeah, RC. Um, if that, so, from that uh, link that they sent, you, you know, you might see the other ones, but you can, uh, you can uh, navigate through um, digital. So, Digipool is not ours. We, I'm not sure how to nat. They're, they're the event. Uh, yeah, doc. Director <coughs> is using that, um, but you can navigate through that and get to all the brackets for all the events here. So, right now, the only two brackets you're going to see is the one pocket and the the ladies event but you can navigate to them from the same link yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, I understand, Rob. I, I promise you, this was the first. We were just able to get the, you know, get the programming and all that done to, for, to give you guys um, different tables and let you guys. We wanted you guys to be able to choose which tables you watch. Um, now I'm sure, you know, we're constantly striving to get better and, and do new things and innovative things, and just gotta bear with us. Man. Yep. <laughs> guys are just so good, I mean, at understanding every single facet of this game. I mean, it's incredible. They, you know, you watch nine ball or ten ball, Billy, like we've grown up doing it. Oh, yeah. Just, just a fast pace, you know, you just, you yeah. take the risk and stuff. This this is a, a game of chess. Oh, wow. Oh, what, what about that shot? <laughs> But you want to take that ball out. Hey, thanks, Mike. Um, is that better? Okay. All right, Mike. There we go. That should fix the problem. Okay. So yeah, he just made his <clears throat> made that eight ball for him there. Mark, if we were on Facebook, this would be the song that would be the copyright <laughs> and take us out. Yes, it would, for sure. <laughs> hey, appreciate it, RC. Uh, well. So, yeah, guys, sorry. What I was saying earlier is um, we appreciate it. Yeah, we, we appreciate you guys for sure. But uh, we, we were able to get the different cameras, different tables all set up for you guys. You know, me and Mark, we get in the booth, we get in here and talk with you guys, but I, I think there's a lot of light missing with the people that just jump up on the stream from around the world, you know, how much uh, Nelson or IT come in here and, you know, just working this computer and getting oh, everything set up for us. And Rob, he takes care of all the back end stuff. I mean, dealing with the... Everything. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> everything, yeah. Everything. Talking about... Uh, getting all these programs built up so big shout out to rob loveless and nelson futro me and mark we just we get in here and talk and <laughs> get it all set up and so again guys uh want to thank obviously uh, omega billiards and acme cases they're the title sponsor for this event um you know mike kong does a lot of a lot of great things uh for this sport and this area and all over the world. I mean, he's one of the largest diamond table dealers in the world. He's They've got more cases and cues in their shop here than we, I've ever seen in a shop. You know, we were talking about the other day how many diamonds he's put in the DFW area, you know, and, and he ships them around the world. Get some guys to set them up. Oh, he tried to make that wow. bomb ball. Man. Well, this right here, this opens the door. All right, so just got word from Mr. Juan Parra that he will not be pursuing uh, copyright infringement suit against J&J. &J. <laughs> All right, guys, hope hope you can hear me now. We got we got that fixed. Sorry about that. It's still super early. The coffee hasn't kicked in yet. Yeah, we ain't yelling yet. <laughs> <laughs>
and you can't blink. Tony will put three or four in the hole when you blink. I, I was just <laughs> thinking the same thing about, you know, just one little error. Yeah. You know, he made a great shot and just left. Didn't pocket the ball in a hole. Well, he's going to make Cost this. him five, six balls. Yep. Yeah. He's going to make this two ball. Yeah, he's just trying to figure out <laughs> what's his next ball. Does he go one rail? Yeah, up I mean, and back and try to, you know, stay on the good side of the 14. Yeah. Or, I or try to come back, you know, and be on the other side of the 15, I believe. Oh, he tried a two rail. He tried to catch that other rail and uh -oh. very unfortunate. Mm. So it cost him that ball and another ball. Well, not only that, Billy, but look at all the balls by Feather's yeah. pocket now, and that's what he was worried that. about. So instead of going one back, one rail back, he tried to just nick that side rail to go two rails back over to hit to Feather's pocket. We're gonna see Feather going a little run here. Yeah. That might. He, I think he was trying to break those out. Yeah. You know, you come up and you, you clip that, exactly. that 14 or that 12 ball, then you've got. I think he's still good on that 11. Sorry. All right, so Fetter's working his way through this. He's going to shoot the combination here. I wonder if he's going to – I don't. I can't tell the angle here, Billy. Okay, he's going to try to make the 12 ball, right? Man. Yeah, I guess it goes. He's going to split them and, and try it. Kind of a stop shot there. If he does pocket it, you know, he'll have the four. Yeah, and if he doesn't, he, you know, he's not really selling. Yeah, he's still, yeah, he's not going to sell himself out. You're right. Well, you say that, but I saw that, <laughs> I saw that highlight yeah. reel. <laughs> i seen that. <laughs> and, yeah. If I was playing Tony, the only place I'd feel comfortable putting that cue ball is on it's the in floor. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it is funny. Yeah. yeah. Uh, He's got to shoot off the floor. <laughs> and I still might not bet a lot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, Texas. Well, I, I thought he should have been out there, too. I mean, if he could have navigated that 12 and then the 15 and four and then backup table for the 10 and the 13. Well, he's gonna bring this seven ball towards his hole and just leave the cue ball over on the top of the table. Uh, I, don't, I don't think he liked that. He, not, he, he wanted, wanted it that, on that rail. Absolutely he did. Cause he just he's gave, got a free shot. Yeah, free shot and you're sending the cue ball down to the bottom of the tape, that bottom rail, bottom long toward rail his here. pocket. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's the thing that's so impressive 
with these guys, Billy, is, you know, this game you're not, you know, nine ball, eight ball, I mean, ten ball, all of those, right? Like you're – you keep shooting and shooting, so you're staying loose, you're staying warmed yeah. up. Staying in the These guys, you know, they're little ticky shots and just little movements and not doing much, and then whenever they – I mean, that, that's not an easy two ball shot, but – when you're not in stroke and you're not you right, know, when you're not banging, you're them. not loose, and you're not, yeah. you know, you get to catch that little gear. But these guys just play back and forth, back and forth, and then after 20, 30 minutes of not having a shot, they got a tough shot. They just get up and drill it. Yeah, you know. And let's yeah, see. I completely agree with you. So you shoot. I mean, he's gonna shoot the fourteen here. And come back. I just don't know. Ah, uh, he was wanting to clip that a little bit, I think, but I think it still goes though. Yeah, but he's not gonna shoot that. Is he? Okay, maybe he is. Just draw it back to the other side of the fifteen. This is it right here. Uh. Oh. Yeah, that was the money shot. Other side of the twelve is what I meant there, but Yeah, you're sure right about that. These, uh, you know, this isn't really standard one pocket tables, Mike. All right, so he's going to cross bank this 15, and, and this will probably be game number two for Tony. Okay, well, he left the door open for Fetter here. Yeah, Molina, we, you know, you never hear about Fetter playing one pocket or see it, but I mean, guy shoots so straight. We, yeah. we were able, you know, fortunate to have him. He's been in town here for the last couple of weeks, Billy, and we've been watching him play everywhere and like a machine. Yeah. So a little funny here. I, I mean, he wanted to get, I think, angle on either one of these balls to shoot both of them. And he's going to shoot the 10 and just draw it back past the side and, and still have the 13 there. But he needs all of them. He needs them all. All right, so he's going to shoot the 13 and then the 12 ball. And then he's either going to two rail the four one rail, the nine. Yeah, that's he's just got to make them all. That's what he's going to do. Cross bank this nine here. Great <laughs> shot. Two rail the four. <laughs> yeah, Mike, I mean, obviously, Tony's, Tony's the head. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's all right. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, Tony's a favorite, and he's just waiting for he just waits for Fetter to make a mistake. I think. Yeah. But Fetter has the opportunity to take this game here. Well, Tony made the mistake this one right here, and it kind it, it's going to sting him a little bit if he loses a game over a cross bank. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a basic. And like uh, Mike was saying earlier, you know the Tony. These are big pockets for Tony. Yeah. He's usually playing on four and a quarter. A little bitty <laughs> Maybe even. Yeah. Tighter than that. 
Right. All right. Well, he lagged it down there pretty good, but like I said, unless Tony's shooting off the floor, I'm not ever comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had Rick Stanley just come over and offer to come in here with us in a little bit. You know, Billy, I, I, and maybe when we get Rick in here, I'll talk to him, but we've got all these people in the house. I'm, I'm definitely going to find out. But when I see them, when they get down to a couple balls left and they're going back and forth, I notice that, you know, they knock it out of their pocket. They put it on their side of the table. But the speed is always to leave the ball by the side pocket. And I think that's to maybe take away the cross, bank. the cross banks yeah. or the, you know, you leave it by the side it, and you leave yeah. the cue ball in their hole. I mean, how do you put this ball by your pocket, right? I mean, it's... Uh -huh. Yes, it's a little dance, you know, the dance that they're doing, you know, because they don't want to leave him out. But look at that shot. Is he that going to go, Billy? He's <laughs> he split he it. He didn't, but man. <laughs> and you just Tony, heard Tony give him yeah. props there. And he put him in a pickle here, right? I mean, this is tough. But Four I mean, balls close to the rail. Got to watch out for a double kiss, but both balls go up rail. And that worked out good. Yeah, it did. He, he didn't. He wanted the cue ball to go down there, too, like you said, back up table right. and, and stay down there so he doesn't give up the two-railer. <laughs> yeah. Again, the same shot Federer almost drilled a while ago. <laughs> I thought for sure he was going to. I do not like leaving him this shot. No, this, is not your, this is your two-rail shot right mm -hmm. here. He's kind of smirking like, dang it. What's up, Robert? Robert tuning in. You going to come up this weekend at all, buddy? Did he drill it, Billy? Just a Oh. Just a But, man... A little deeper, and he'd really be in trouble. Well, at that point, I think Fetter just follows it in and puts yeah. two up there. But we saw, but, but on the rail the like that, look, look where it is. Even that's a tough shot whenever it's on the rail like that. Yeah. Well, he'll come, come on the top side of it from this angle here, the top side of it, and get it out of there pretty, pretty good, I think. Uh. Look at that! What a beautiful shot, well, leaving the cue leave, ball in his. He's gonna leave a bank here. But um, last night when. Forrest was in the box here, man. We saw that happen a couple times with Shane, where, you know, they had the. I think uh, Billy had to follow, make Shane's ball and follow it in, and they locked two up there. And Shane actually had two swings at it, but there's a shot where you can make that head ball, you know, just uh, make that head yeah. ball right into your pocket. And not only that, but you send the other ball two rails back towards your pocket as well. And it's, he's like, nice. that's a pretty standard shot. And I'm looking at it going, what? And then Shane, first time he almost made it, sent the ball back, then. Billy had to do it again. That same shot came up, but this time Shane had ball in hand. He made the head ball off of the back ball, made huh. it right into the pocket, and the seven ball went up and just parked right in Park front of him. Yeah, it's it's that's a shot you got to yeah. know, obviously. <laughs> Superman just walked by. Nice shot. <laughs> oh, Roberto Gomez. Roberto. They're trickling in. These guys were here late last night. Lots of action over here, man. We had some $5,000 a game one hole yesterday. Yeah. Pretty pretty interesting. Pretty strong. Still waiting to hear how that turned out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dennis and who? Oh, no, it was Scooter and uh, Tommy Medina. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, look 
look at that shot. If it had some speed on it. Yeah. I wonder if – see, I would I, – me not knowing, right, not knowing the right shot, I'm, I'm definitely one railing this to my whole – I mean, I just – but I know there's probably a much better shot that we're about to see, so – I'll have to put this in the memory bank and remember. But you're this. Uh, you're talking just cross bank. Yeah, just cross yeah. bank is in my hole. I mean, but I that's a tough cross bank right here. I mean, that, that's the shot that I see too. Well, that's what he's that's what he's loading up for here. Oh, guess not. See, yeah, that's a much better shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have hit it too hard and left it right in front of his pocket. <laughs> Lost a thousand. <laughs> well. I think uh, what we just missed, and I just caught it. So he cross banks that. He pushes it over there toward his pocket. Mm -hmm. Cue ball goes two rails back down table because you have to hit it that hard. He could bank. He, so he then leave you a leave him a, a, a short cross, you know, short bank. Yeah. Sorry, guys. We're in here learning too, man. <laughs> I know I know these one pocket players in here like just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Rookies. What they're probably saying is, God, I wish I was in town to get these guys in some action. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, no doubt. Rob said he thinks uh, Med oh, Medina and Dennis from yesterday, yes, they did break even. They were playing uh, 2,500 a game. Dennis was spotting uh, Medina 15 to 4. Um, they broke even, but late last night they started. Uh, Medina got into some uh, one pocket with Scooter. They were. We heard they were playing for 5000 a game. Not sure how they turned out. All right, of course, guys, we're at the uh, Michael Montgomery Memorial Tournament. This is the one pocket event. This is uh, the, still the first round. Billy, we had a couple matches go to the wire yesterday. And uh, so this is uh, Tony and Fetter's first match. Now, this is a shot for us we mentioned a couple times where you kick this ball. You kick this ball yeah. one rail it down into the bottom rail and back towards your pocket. And he said this shot comes up all the time. Just like he did. Yeah. Great shot there. But that's what I'm saying, Billy. If we watch and pay attention, which we probably won't, but if we did, you're going to see like the same. I mean, this is almost, you know, it's almost like the one railer he had earlier. I mean, that we said he should probably one rail, but. Man, the mental stamina required just to. Stay with it on this game. <laughs> What's up, Curtis? Let's, uh, let's take this learning adventure together. What do you say? <laughs> Get on the magic school bus. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is a two rail, right? Uh, two long rail back. Nope. It's a oh, thin cut over to your side. Just and push leave, it over leave your him side. On the rail. He wanted to leave him on the rail. but. Ooh. So this right here is the shot that we just had pretty close to. And that, yeah, you know, the, the cross bank here, the cue ball goes one, two, back down, and you just... So you just push it back up table. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Vince, and I apologize. This is Tony's first, uh, Tony's first match. Tony must have drew a bye. Ah. Sounds right. I'm sure he deserves it coming, yeah. <laughs> coming through here. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Some people just do not deserve. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you got a bye. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Tony <laughs> deserves it somewhere. He's. He's fought for what he's got. That's for damn sure. So look, here's this one rail kick again, Billy. Watch. It's it's the same, almost the same shot. It, oh no, okay. He, he double kissed it there. Y'all better watch out. After this tournament, we might be uh, we might be calling people out. Yeah, let's go. <coughs> I'll learn for twenty or fifty a game. Who's yeah. out there? Well, I, I wasn't <laughs> talking about playing one pocket. I I mean, I'd take Tony in a foot race out there. I don't know, man. He's pretty quick. <laughs> well, I, w I would want at least 10 yards away from him because he gets a hold of me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he reminds me. Of course, you'll know this name. Not many people will, but 
but it's, it's like Bonner. Bonner. You know, man, he was a – I think he was a, a nose guard for uh, – he played College, for, yeah. in Louisiana. Yeah. And he's from Louisiana, and, and Bonner's a – Potter Siemens. He's, he's, a, he's good, an awesome guy. Great guy. He's a big boy, man, but not – not big like I mean, j he's just yeah. a big big guy. Yeah, corn fed, just huge yeah. guy, but he's quick. He yeah. chased me when I was a teenager. I, I said something to him. We used to smart off to each other, or I was a young punk and smart off to him all the time. And uh -huh. I, I told him one time, I said he was really in a bet. He'd always be up there at O'Reilly's just studying. Right, mm -hmm. he was in college and he'd just be studying and sitting up there having to deal with people like us. <laughs> I pissed him off one day and. I said, what did I say? I, I think I told him that he was just upset that Polo didn't make parachutes or something. I said something <laughs> like that, man. And he jumped up over that counter and started chasing me all around the pool. Oh, Billy, I was scared for my life. At you the time, got a whole deal with that. Yeah, you know, at the time, I was 110 pounds soaking wet with boots on, and, and Bonner's 320, that, and he's running a 474, and I'm just, oh, my God, this guy's going to kill me. Jerking tables out of the way. <laughs> he did get a hold of me, and I – he got a hold of me, and there was a couple playing. There was only one couple in there playing, and he got a hold of me right there by them. And I yelled at the top of my lungs, Please. get off me. I'm not a sheep. And they started <laughs> cracking up, which made him laugh, and he let me go, and I, I was out the door. <laughs> uh, All right, so is Fetter going to take on this one railer here? But you see how he left it in the side? But the cue ball's on the other side of the table, so I don't know. Maybe just that's a good spot to put the cue ball. I mean, the object ball if you're – Battling it. back and forth here. He did take it on. <laughs> oh. And I think he's going to give up a one rail. I've seen a video this morning, Mark, and it, it had the, uh, I don't know, the mom or, or or whatever, and it has two kids. They might have been three, year, three years old and five year, four years old or something, real young. Uh -huh. And they're lined up. It's like, okay, line up, on your mark, get set, go. And she gives them about Look at that. About five foot, great shot. And she takes off and she pushes one down, then she pushes the other down and wins the race. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, they're going to take a little break here. It's two to nothing, Tony. Uh, so you guys go grab you something to eat, grab you something to drink, get your snacks, and uh, come back and join us here in just a few We minutes. are too.
All right, guys, Mark Gonzalez with Rackham TV back in the booth here. Um, yes, the game count is two to zero. Uh, Tony leads. Uh, the ticker we have at the top there is going to be the, the ball count. What a good attempt there. And, guys, I'm, uh, I'm joined in the booth here right now with uh, Mr. Jeremy Jones from OBQs. What's going on, Jeremy? Hey, Mark. How are you? Doing good. Good, man. Thank you so much for popping in here with us. We know you you got some one-pocket knowledge, too. Yeah, and just a little bit here and there. All and right. I've had a lot of matches with Tony, actually. Have you? Okay. Yeah. I've probably commentated 30 or 40 of his matches. Oh, wow. Uh, Robert, good question. Let me take a look here real quick, and we'll see what's going on over there. Uh, it's two to one. Uh, Corey is leading Sky two to one, and uh, we'll we'll keep bringing you guys updates over there. Don't forget off the main uh, home screen, you can switch over. That's ca that's called the action table. You can switch over and also watch the Corey and Sky match. Uh, but guys, I'm going to step away. I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Jeremy Jones here uh, with OBQs, and also uh, Rick Stanley is going to get back in the booth here with you guys. So here they are. All right, guys, we're back. Hey, Jeremy. How are you? Good, how are you? Doing good. <clears throat> it's kind of interesting to watch Fetter play uh, one pocket with uh, Europeans not playing one pocket. Well, yeah, that's true. But, uh, you know, as, as well as he plays, it shouldn't take him long to pick it up. <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> Now, he played pretty well last night, actually. If you leave him open, he pockets balls. That's all there is to it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. I mean, he can pocket balls on a bumper pool table. Yeah. So. <clears throat> He's kind of in a, in a bad spot here, you know. Best shot right here is probably just to, to bank the, just kind of hit the 14 straight on and and try to lead the cue ball, you know, bank the 14 towards a stack, two rails, and then try to roll up the cue ball and kind of hide the one and the 11 if possible without giving up a shot on the four ball. Yeah, just or <coughs> popping up right behind the four ball, just rolling up behind the four. Yeah, Let's see if we can get better. Sometimes in one pocket, it's just about making it difficult. See, from this <laughs> angle, it looks like if he banks a 14 head on, it, it'll bump into four, which might give up a shot. So Right. But maybe he sees a dead ball in the stack. I don't know. Maybe that. No, that no. 10 doesn't go. I don't see anything dead, that's for sure. That would have been a great shot if he would have been able to get that the cue ball stuck to the four like he really wanted. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> but knowing Tony, he might just kick at this one ball and try to try to just somehow push it. try to get the cue ball behind the eleven. Yeah. Kind of like that, and he makes oh, it. He puts it in. <coughs> I 
And that right there might be Actually, that, that opened things up a little bit. Yeah, he should be out from here. Uh, yeah. Everything's pretty open. Well, good. This uh, tablet got stuck and I couldn't get it off at three but he's on three right now, and this is four. He's got a shot on the two. <clears throat> Just kind of bumped the seven out a little bit. Ooh, he hit that a little hard. Actually, he kind of hit that seven ball in the face full of when he yeah. was trying to float over and just kind of hit the top of the seven to bounce it over towards a, to where he could have a shot. He's going aggressive here. That's a good shot. Though. Didn't hurt him no. much. Just moving another ball towards his side. <coughs> yeah. They needed another camera on the other side so we could see both sides instead of just two sides like this. Yeah, I like that angle right there. Looks pretty good. needs to get past the stack, otherwise you give him a, <clears throat> a free bank. I'm not so sure. He left the nine, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the worst part about this, not being able to see the exact angle. He actually undercut that. Let's see if he's going to go a little aggressive here. If he wanted, he could actually bank that five ball, have the cue ball go around three rails, and he wouldn't give up a shot on the nine. Right. He has to make it all the way back, though. Or most of the way back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I was him, you might have to play a little aggressive. I mean, the way, the way Tony's playing. Yeah. Tony does play pretty aggressive. I was surprised he shot at that, the five ball, or I think it was a five ball earlier, where he just barely missed that in the corner. Yeah. That was pretty aggressive. He could have blown that stack out if he wasn't real careful, but he was real careful, so. Yeah. <coughs> His, uh, I don't know what he's looking at here. I don't even see anything out of that. I don't see anything good that could happen out of that. It looks like he's trying to get the nine like he's out of there. trying to thin it. Yeah. And see and leave the cue ball over here on this side. Oh, that was a good shot. That was a <coughs> except for he that's the reason why I don't like <laughs> yeah. to shoot that shot. You know. Uh, yeah, he left a hanger. Yeah, you miss, you miss, and uh, yeah, it could be lights out. Yeah, I would have to try to. Sh I would have had to shoot shot that five ball. I think Tony needs three. So yeah, he's got two for sure. Tell you what, Rick, I, my fingers can't work that tablet. I don't know why I pressed <laughs> the. I, I just got it to seven. I yeah. think 
yeah. Better has two. Yeah, he has to. This tap, oh wait. He's already got. Yeah, counts right. <clears throat> yeah, Fetter needs them all. Sorry if the ball count is not updating as fast as we'd like. Uh, we were using this tablet here and uh, we just, uh, it's just not working correctly. So, but the ball count is correct now, seven to two, about to be seven, three in the ball count. The score is two to zero, Tony. That, that's over. <clears throat> my, yeah, my fingerprints won't work the tablet. It happens all the time. <laughs> work in the shop all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fetters break. <clears throat> and he actually hit that second ball really full. <clears throat> Looks like the he's got a seven, seven into the three. I mean, he can easily get out of this. Oh, he went into the stack. Well, he just. He was. <coughs> I think Tony was being real aggressive there, <laughs> leaving behind the stack and then. He didn't want to get one. He wanted to get them all. So. Yeah. But that's why we're sitting here in the booth and he's out there. Mm -hmm. A few years ago, Tony at Derby, uh, out of a race to three, he had two eight and outs. But they would have let you make a ball on the break and continue to play at uh -huh. that time at Derby. Yeah. Yeah. Two eight and outs in a row. It, it was just <laughs> unbelievable. Wow. That year they were playing real aggressive because they could do it. <clears throat> oh, well, he's got a shot on, let me see. Actually, I don't think he got rewarded. Maybe the one ball. I don't know. Yeah, the one ball's it's real tight if it if he can get it. He's going to be shooting the one ball probably next. He's just worried about where he wants to be. On. <coughs> Unless he doesn't like the shot jacked up. Was kind of interesting. Let's see here. <clears throat> I 
Is there a path to the corner for the 14? Uh, it kind of looks like it. It's probably what he's going to do, bank at one rail. Yeah. Uh, bank at one rail to his side. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> I might have to just kick off the side rail and just kind of try to freeze Tony to the three ball if I can, you know. If the three's not frozen. Right. You know, just make, tap the three into the rail and then sit behind it. Yeah, it's really... I don't like moving my eight ball. No, that's the one thing that's... Eh. I think he's okay there. That's one thing about watching somebody that doesn't play one pocket all the time. You get to see things that are a little bit different because they have a different view on it until they, you know, get used to the game. He got two balls over there near his side. <coughs> yeah. Seven off the eight. Tony's pretty methodical. He moves balls around and then goes in for the kill all at once. Yeah. I didn't like shooting that ball hard. I kind of figured something... I probably would have just had a slow roll the bank there, or, you know, just slow roll it into the eight. Tony should get a, at least two here. I should be able to shoot the eight and just ease get on over, over for the 14. Get on over for the 14. If he gets a little bit of an angle, it could turn into more than. Yeah, now he can come over. Yeah, just. Make this with top top left English and, and Come down. get shape for the seven in the corner. He, nine goes, three goes. He's got a little bit of an angle, but even if he just lags it over there, puts the cue ball over there by the between the second and third diamond, he should have a shot still. But he doesn't like that. He's shooting something else. I guess he sees something we don't. I didn't I didn't see what happened. <coughs> Did you? Yeah, he shot the the he shot a ball that was in the stack and uh got the 5 kind of clipped into the 5 and the 5 went towards a corner. Oh, okay. <coughs> pretty bad spot here uh, you know no matter what you do here you're going to be able to give Tony a he's going to be able to play safe on you again if you don't give up the a shot Yeah, he's got to be real careful not to get him back on this side of that stack, though, because Tony, had, there's quite a few balls sitting right direct for Tony's pocket, too. Oh, uh, yeah. That was probably about as good as it's going to get there for him, but...
Tony should just probably just bank this one ball and kind of get it right back into the stack. Now, if you're, if you're better, I mean, I don't know. Maybe you should just try to cut the 15 if you can. Right. I mean, it doesn't look. Even from this angle, nothing really looks promising. <coughs> he actually got a little lucky there that the ball didn't go around and leave him a shot on the... Uh, but it looks like he's got a cuttable five. Seven. <coughs> See what kind of an angle he has on it. Looks like he'll be able to draw it, draw it out towards a, the middle of the table. Get a shot on the one ball next or the two. Yeah. Oh, he's got nice well, angle looks for like the thirteen. He's got the thirteen to get shape on the on the two or the one. Yep. Yeah. Tony's got five. <coughs> and he's got the one to finish it off. Or no, that's actually. Six. This will be seven. Yep. Just kind of bump it out, the 12. And hit the stack and have the two. And that should be it, folks. Got a little bit of a cut here, but doesn't have to do much with the cue ball. He's got a little bit of room between there. And that's it. Tony wins it four to zero.